Okay, so hey, for those of you who don't know, 24-hour stream, we spun a wheel, and it landed on Play a Dead Estate Run. This game is a very funny admitting game maker. It's a roguelike. Uh, we'll go and play uh, a run here. I actually don't care who we play as. Um, I'll go and play as Axel. I don't have a whole lot of... Uh, he, he's a newer development to this game. Um, I'll also move... Let me move my video capture. The fan service character? No, I'm. You'll interact with the fan service character in later on. This is the fan service character. What do you mean? I'm playing the fan service character. Uh, anyways, I got Twitch chat. Um, I am also recording this. So let's do. Uh, we'll just play. Let's do it. But this game, actually, believe it or not, some of the elements in this game also inspired um, the Feathered Serpent. My own game. Clearly he meant Mamba. No, heck no. Okay, this character is kind of annoying. Although he does start with a bunch of extra stuff, which is nice. Okay. Yeah, this is just a fun little game. I highly recommend it. They've put out like five free content updates, which is pretty crazy for an uh, indie game to pull off. Usually, they gotta to to keep it alive. They gotta release DLCs or things like that. Not this game. Okay. I'll be honest. This is not how I envisioned stream going. We have a couple other roguelikes on the wheel that we'd play a run of. Scroller's a little crazy with the avatars. The scroller. I do. There are some stream avatars at the bottom. Oh, geez. Not doing that. Um, so one thing that this game does that I uh, actually loved is the cutscenes. I think this game handled its cutscenes in a really dope way. And, uh... It actually... I haven't done cutscenes like how this game does, but I would love to. And this, this game also does... Um... Like a story. Like a story mode very well. Like, there's there's a lot to to take notes of from this game that I could put into my own game. Webdo12, hello. Welcome to the stream. Uh, also, Coco YT, I'm sorry, I totally uh, missed your chat. Is there any thoughts about making it to be playable on the Xbox? There is, so that that's a bigger step because you have to I have to pay money and acquire licenses to put it on like the Xbox Store. Um, I do want to make it controller compatible though. That is a goal of mine for my own for my own game. Here's your fan service character, Steel Slayer. Okay, let's do uh, Signed Bat. I'll do Shiny Pocket Watch. I'm cool with it. Maybe use our axes because I, I kind of like keeping our uh, kind of like keeping our our gun for harder moments. I like these guys. Okay, let's see the item we get. Jumping on enemies hurts them. I mean, it's very useless in this game. All right, fan service character, we're up again. Uh, yeah, give me health and give me strength. We're out of here. But yeah, it's pretty crazy. This game is actually, in my opinion, surprisingly well done for a quote-unquote game maker game. It really just goes to show you that the engine of the game does not matter. Uh, what really is the uh, the thing that matters is just how you use the engine. One thing that blew my mind was uh, finding out that the creator of... Um, oh my goodness, I'm forgetting it. Lethal Company... Majority of the dude's games are made in uh, in uh, the Roblox editor. 
Does it matter? All right. I remember, and it's just like the newer generation, right? I used to, uh, I used to make games in like the Warcraft 3 map editor. Webdub12 on YouTube says, with a new 2.2 update, Geometry Dash's in-game level creator can be considered a game engine. There you go. I didn't real. Oh, you were telling me about the update previously, Webdub. That it's like been an update for Geometry Dash, like, uh, I forget how many years in the making you said, but. This game really nails the feel of, of like Isaac, genuinely, in, in my opinion. It, it's different enough from The Binding of Isaac to feel like fun and new, but it really, like it, it definitely hits the same, the same dopamine buttons in your brain. Coco YT, do I have an Xbox? I actually don't have an Xbox. I have a PS5. Um, Webdub12, Rob Top could get in legal trouble because people are recreating other games inside Geometry Dash. Really? Geometry Geometry Dash is uh, editors that intense, huh? Oh, you know what I thought about putting on the, the wheel was playing Pow World. That game looks crazy. And it came out yesterday. Sure, give me the fists. Holy crap. So this game has an alt path, as you saw after the boss, as two elevators, for those of you who are not familiar with Dead Estate. And uh, that's something that I would love to introduce into my own game, is the ability to, after you finish like a boss area, it opens up maybe a secondary alternate path or route, where you can then, you know, go down a different storyline, essentially. Alright, there we go. Oh yeah, Power World, been thinking about that. It looks like such a good time. Here's the other uh, fan service character for you, Critch. Yeah, we buy from the cultist. Those are actually really good buys. Thank heavens. <laughs> It'd be kind of cool to do like a, a secret shop like that in my game. That Cosmos. Uh, we'll take the Rad Hammer. Steel Slayer, wow, these are crazy. Steel Slayer's like, yeah, maybe I should play Dead Estate. <laughs> yeah, the only the only uh, fan service thing that I'm going in my that's happening in my game is the uh, anime made skin. Um, no, no thanks. Uh, Coco YT asks, do I know about Rain World? I do. I I own the game. It's on my list of games I want to play, but I probably won't get around to it for a few months. I don't know why I went to the boss fight. Could have just gone to the left and gone into the item room. That's an L. You've played four hours of Rain World? Or four hours of Dead Estate? Ouch, well played. Steel Slayer has played four hours of Rain World. What did you think, Steel Slayer? Genuinely. It looks like a crazy game. Like, hyper-reactive to you. Like, I watched some uh, video game essay on Rain World talking about how, like, the enemies are, like, some of the most advanced AI ever. You didn't like it, you refunded, and then realized I had it on your library, so you played more. Wow, that's savage. <laughs> you refunded it and then kept playing it. Legendary. Cool environment, but just had no structured direction. Wait, isn't that kind of like Noida, though? <coughs> or is Noida more, st more structured? Thank you for the gold pot. Okay, we have one of the best melee weapons in this game. And at the start of each floor here, we're getting free HP. And free ammo. So that's real nice. I hate this subtype of floor, though. Oh, you know what? That's another thing, actually, that I should consider. You know what? This is great. I'm actually going to write down for my own game. I should totally stick in, um, like, variations on, on worlds. Like, like uh, kind of like how the Binding of Isaac does. Dark 
burning, flooded rooms, etc. Add it in for warrior altar. So I have a late game altar, kind of like the Pact of Punishment in Hades that we got unlocked because of the stretch goal, everyone. By the way, hey, Kickstarter. Uh, hold on, I forgot to pin it in the, in the other page here. Uh, Steel Star says, Power World does look kind of lit. Also, uh, Coco White, you have 500 hours in Rain World. Sounds like you like the game. The only game that I have those kind of numbers in is uh, Isaac. <laughs> the Binding of Isaac. But yeah, Power World looked super fun. I don't know if it, I think you can play multiplayer. So that might be a fun, a fun thing to do. Okay. Uh, yeah, we already have like one of the best melee weapons. No, thank you. <clears throat> nice. What the heck? Oh, there's a, a shadow person. Yeah, it's an MMO. Wait, I did not realize it Power World's an MMO? Yo, wait a minute. I thought it was a freaking just a multiplayer game. I did not realize it's a it's a MMO. Like there's a server where everyone gets on? No way. Hold on. I actually piqued my interest in the game way more than before, I'm not going to lie. And that Cosmos says he's out. He does not do MMOs. <clears throat> it is what it is. Okay, I want to be careful here because I don't want to run out of ammo because then this uh, item becomes useless. So maybe we switch to our normal axes here for a second. Okay, I'm just trying to find... Oh, I have the key. What am I doing? I'm like looking around for the key for the boss. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I did not think Power World was an MMO. Can we get a double check on that? Please? Okay, hold on. This guy telefrags me. So, Coco YT, what's the consensus on Rain World? Why do you have 500 hours in it? Still say Reddit comment saying it's more like RK. That makes more sense to me. Like, it can be. You can play on a giant multiplayer server. Well, the 12 says, I'm going to be listening to your stream in the background because I've been procrastinating my geometry dash level for two days now. Okay, good luck with the geometry dash level, Wubdub 12. Trailer made it look like an open world RPG. That's what that's the vibe I was getting from Pal World. Was super open world. With the, like, kind of like Valheim is what I imagined Pal World. Like, I have my own world. I can play by myself. Game is fully functional. I play by myself. But I can invite people and we can play on a server together. That's just the, that's what I got from it. Maybe it was the wrong impression. Why well, we could skip this level, <laughs> go straight to the bank. All right, they're out of there. These levels on the all path, we really only care to find, uh, or to just leave them like as quick as possible. Did I, I accidentally broke the weapon? Oh my goodness. I thought we picked up a bunch of ammo. Oh, okay. There's a glitch in this. Well, I think it's a glitch. Unless I'm on the weapon when I'm picking up the ammo, it doesn't give it ammo. So we lost one of the best melee weapons in this game. Feels bad, man. Coco YT, I'm playing a Super Animal Royale. Having you in the background is nice. There you go. I'm officially a second monitor streamer. Chuggy Chug never played Ark, but I want to use the gun and shoot Pikachu. I know, right? Like, it just looked so out of pocket when I was watching the freaking trailer. Oh, some of the pals are pretty blatant Pokemon ripoffs. Yeah, so I showed Ivana, my wife, and she, uh, she literally told me, she's like, if you just told me these were Pokemon, she's like, I wouldn't know the difference. She's like, I would just, I just would have believed you that they were real Pokemon. So... Yeah, they're pretty almost indistinguishable, especially the art style. I'm like, this actually is. I don't know how they're not going to run into problems, like genuinely. What the heck? Okay, I'm definitely not using this weapon. 
Oh, thank you. We found the key. We could poke around. Eh, maybe we should. We have so much money. Maybe we poke around for the cultist shop here. Okay, we have a heaven shop. Alright, give me two seconds here. It's been such a long time since I played a normal Dead Estate run. I don't even know what shop this does. Smashed Pumpkin, VIP Pass, Evil's Bane. Uh, I have 84 Chunks Medallions. Okay, I guess I'll get that. Give me VIP Pass. <clears throat> Coco YT, I can't believe they added Shotgun to Cult of the Lamb. They added a Shotgun? What the heck? Die Cosmos, if Power World is good, let me know. You might play. I don't think I'm... I mean, I'm not going to be playing it for a while. I don't got time to, to play it. Plus, it's an early access game. <coughs> Which I got nothing against early access games right now. I actually like a lot of them. I just thought, I'm like, you know what? If I'm going to play Power World, like, maybe I'll wait until it's, like, released. And then I'll just have fun with it when it's released. Because there's no reason for me to play it. Like, it's not like I'm going to... Like, everyone and their dog's playing it right now. I'm like, yeah... Like, I'm good to just let it chill for a while, let them improve the game, you know, let the community give a ton of feedback. I'll wait for the game to come out in a year, and then I'll play it. I got so many other games that I should be playing or, or could be playing that are actually released. It would feel like a slap in the face to my whole backlog to not, uh, to, to go start playing Power World. Okay, I found the cultist shop. Thank you. And we didn't get screwed over, thank heavens. There's a couple items you can get in this game, and as you saw, you could just buy stuff without seeing it. I used to stand by never visiting cultist shops, but I'm a new man. It's a new year, new me. Uh, Chug, you check the art for Pokemon isn't a trademark for the Pokemon company, so they won't run into problems at all. Interesting. Did you know you can catch humans in Power World? I saw that pirate software short, and then you butcher them. <coughs> it was crazy. Oh, and then the game stays in an eternal alpha? Oh, no. Not one of those games. Or what was it? Wasn't it Ark that, like, they were in early access, but then before they even left early access, they had, like, already been selling DLCs for their game or something like that? Kind of crazy. Okay. I don't know what happened to me. I'm taking some pretty bad damage here. Please die. Oh my gosh, we gotta go three. Alright, good hit. Oh, what the heck? Whoa, 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 whoa. That was different. I ain't never seen that attack hit me like that way before. There's no way I go for four. There we go. <clears throat> I know that, uh, well, what is something that was like they, they copyrighted the, the game, like art style? I know that there's a couple things where it's like, no, like, like there's a, there's an art style that matters. Hey, Jumi, welcome to the stream. The 24-hour stream celebration. It's been a while. I'm glad you're here, Jumi. Okay, give me the key. We are playing this game. There's a wheel that you can spend crests on to spin. And uh, it has various negatives on it. And I guess you could consider various positives. This was one of the positives. Okay, yeah, don't kill me. Let me go to my bunker real quick. Thank you. Hey, who stole my Triceratops? No, that's you, Jumi. You're the Triceratops. <laughs> oh, yeah. By the way, you can... Uh, I don't know if you knew this, Jumi, but you can save up. It's 10k gold in stream avatars to buy the... Uh, the... Dread Rex... My T-Rex looking enemy. 
Coco YT, can I spin now? Uh, I'll let you spin after I finish the Dead Estate run. I think that's a fair. That's that's pretty fair. Okay, give me the huge hammer. Two out of seven is pretty bad. What do you got for me? Can you heal me? Increase damage for all weapons. I'll do it. This could save my life. Hmm. That's okay. I, I don't need it. This is also a pretty good weapon. Bro thinks I'm rich. Well, I mean, you just get it. You just just uh, roll the the just start gambling. Okay, fire triple bullets, but decreases my fire rate. Interesting. Let's go mutagen. I mean, I'll do it. Oh, and then yeah, give me give me Ambrosia. We'll buy everything. We're we making so much money on this run. Yes, you can gamble your points. Oh, but your crests? No, but there's like gold. So there's there's these your little avatar at the bottom of the screen. People are trying to save up to get that giant T-Rex, which is what I am. So I think you go like exclamation point gold slots or something like that. And you say how much you want to gamble in stream avatars. I watched someone go from like one gold to went from one to five thousand like over the course of a stream and then back to zero it was pretty crazy i kind of don't like this weapon at all although there was an idea i had for a weapon of my own in my own game that was going to be uh throwing potions like this so ouch well played Seems to be, like, good, though, like, damage-wise. Oh, there you go, Jumi. Just played slots. There you go. I don't have commands set up. Oh, there's the stream avatars command list. <clears throat> oh, yeah, you can, like, attack other people with your stream avatar at the bottom of the screen. What the heck is this? I don't like that. Uh, okay, we do have a nurse. There you go. Roid myself up. Why not? Oh, and then I actually already have my key. Let's just get out of this floor. Uh, okay. I'm down for health and I guess strength. Call it a day. Attack sundown. Wow. You've chosen violence. Like your little guy at the bottom. There he goes. <clears throat> oh, don't fight me, Chunks. Get out of here. <laughs> Alright, let's go. I hate this boss with a passion. I I do like the idea. So in here in Dead Estate, uh, there, on each floor, there's multiple chances for... For different bosses to spawn. I really like that idea. I don't have the time to put it into my game yet. But I would love for it to be like, hey, the first area, you have the potential to get, like, different bosses or different boss types. I just think it'd be sick. Attic Sanctum cleared. All right. This area is also pretty rough. Tennis ball, no thanks. Uh, I'll take the key. Alright, so it looks like it airs out my game. I bet it messes with my actual stream. Maybe not. Coco YT on YouTube says they're currently trying to speedrun Rain World. Best of luck to you. Speedrunning is freaking hard. Oh, I'm screwed. So we're trying to find the boss room now while being chased while having all these crazy filters on the screen. It's only a little annoying. All right, get me out of this room. Okay, that's not good. Three, three HP. 
Okay. Alright, get me out of here. That was good. Good dodging. This sucks. Did that say flame cannon? I guess it doesn't matter what it said. We're out of there. Oh, what the heck? The music stopped? Alright. Oh, wait. I can just leave? No, wait, no, wait, wait, no, wait, wait, wait. I actually... Oh, I shouldn't have left. That actually sucks. I forgot that, uh... No, well, now I can't do the true ending. <laughs> I forgot I need to get a piece. I'm like... I'm, you, like, build this key throughout Dead Estate by doing the alt path. And I just took this elevator... That takes me off the all path. Oh well, it is what it is. Uh, I'll do the little boss rush mode it has right here. Why not? We'll spice things up. Okay, there we go. Okay, two hits. I'm probably going to lose my run here. We'll see though. Potions seem dece. I don't know if they can carry me though. Okay. This is not a Leviathan. This is literally its name. Alright, we have lost our... Uh, our weapon. That's not good. Because Axel's base attacks kind of really suck. Yeah, I think it's over for me. Oh my goodness. Yo. It's over for me. I'm playing out of my mind. There we go. We're being followed around. Okay, okay, what just happened there? I know the boss spawned in, but I was being chased by the green thing even though the other boss died. That's a pretty sick death screen though with the shades. All right, well, there's the Dead Estate run, everyone. Highly recommend Dead Estate. Great game. Obviously has great inspirations for my own game. Sorry, I lost the run. All right, Coco YT. We'll do your spin now of the wheel. Also, did I hide the Dead Estate run? Yes, I did. There's a Coco YT over on YouTube, his spin.